welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing absolutely amazing unreal all that good stuff so i haven't really been uploading much videos in a while because i just took a little bit of a break but now i'm back and hopefully we'll have a video up every single week so buzzing for that so for today's video it's something that i've been meaning to do for a while now so what i'm going to do today is a little bit of a hair tutorial now let me tell you i'm not a hairdresser i'm not that good at hair but i found a little bit of a trick and a little bit of a knack how to do this and it's with a bargain as well so we love that on this channel so what i'm going to do today is like boho style curls in my hair and i'm going to use the andrew foot simons curler from pennies this curler is unreal if you haven't bought it you need to buy it you need to buy the whole range because it's all actually unreal this is 14 euro in pennies and i know pennies isn't open at the minute but when it opens you have to get on this it's so so good so just a little background like i'm terrible at curling hair my hair doesn't hold the curl even though i've naturally curly hair um just not that great at hair in full stop like but this curler literally has changed my life I absolutely love it so much like and for 14 euro like absolutely unreal and I got the blow dryer and the straightener as well from that collection and it's so so good I literally use it all the time the straightener is so so light and so thin perfect for going away I think it was about 14 euro as well so the hair dryer from that range is actually so so good as well it's like a copy of a Dyson hair dryer it's so so nice so light so handy to bring away with you if you're going anywhere so love that we I mean, love a bargain so that's great so this curler has literally been such a game changer for me like i can't believe how much i love it like i love my hair curly now like i want to curl it all the time but that damage though that bleached hair though can't be doing that but i wish like when i curl it with this it holds for days so we love that so i'm going to jump into the tutorial now and show you how i curl my hair and what i do okay so first thing is first i just use this little comb from pennies just to put a middle split in my hair instead of a side split because i like split in the middle when it's curled don't know why but as you can see like this bit is a bit higher but we won't worry about that because when it's curled it will even all out itself so that's grand so next i'm just going to brush my hair using this tangle teaser brush i absolutely love this hair brush and um, i feel like it doesn't pull on my hair it doesn't break my hair as much as other brushes so anything that i can tag down below that i'm using will be in the description that i can find online but obviously the penny stuff won't be online but if I find anything else that I've used, I'll pop it down there or anything similar. Just another little tip, I always like to curl my hair a day or two after it's washed, just so it'll hold the curl a little bit better. Usually tends to hold the curl a bit better when your hair is greasy, so I hear it, but it seems to work for me anyway. And plus the fact when I uh, wash my hair, I blow dry it and straighten it. And if I curl it on top of that, it will probably be burnt off my head, literally on the floor somewhere, so can't be doing that. So I like to leave it like a day or two and then I always find like my hair is less fuzzy after like a day or two so works out better. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is split my hair off into sections so I usually like to do it in about three to four sections maybe depending on how much hair I've left. I don't be too particular with sections or anything so usually I'll start just right at the ears and I'll bring it around my head and then just split the hair off. And then I'll twist the hair up on top of my head and then I'll just take these grips. I get these in pennies as well. I think you get like a packet of six for like 2 dollars so good. Like you'd actually miss pennies. Like I just love it so much. And then I'm just going to bring the rest of this hair around the front. So the underneath of my hair is very thin because it's probably like the most damaged bits at the back. So I don't have much hair here to do so I'll fly through this bit. Okay, so now that I have my hair all sectioned off, I'm just going to brush through the ends of it again just to make sure there's no knots anywhere. And that's it then, ready to go. So next then, I'll just make sure all the hair is around to the front. So I'll just split it at the back. And I'm going to split this part into two sections. So I'll get two curls out of this. And then I'm just going to start curling. So this is how big of a section I usually take. So it's nice and skinny, like nothing too big but it doesn't really matter the size of it really to be honest like just once i kind of split it into two it'll just be grand so i'm going to take this curler now and i'm going to put it backwards and curl away from my face so i'm just going to bring it down the barrel and i'm just going to leave the end bit of the hair out as well because that gives more kind of boho effect so i leave that on for about 15 seconds i just kind of see see how it's going and then that's really it then there's not really much else to it like it's actually real easy to do 
once you kind of get the hang of it and the swing of it it's grand and then I'll just bring the end bit around just before I let it go and then this bit of the corner here is like um, plastic so I hold on to the end of that with my hand and then I let the coral fall straight into my hand here so I just let the coral um, cool down a little bit then usually just shake it around and just leave that for another couple of seconds and then I'm just going to let the coral drop so I'm not going to brush that out or anything yet but this is what the coral looks like and then it will be brushed out then at the end so I'm going to take another section there at the back and same with the hair here I'm going to start right at the top of the wand and curl right around to the very end and sometimes I just like to rest my hand there because your arms do get sore after curling your hair especially when you have a lot of hair so I'll just rest that there for a couple of seconds and then I'll release and let it cool down okay so now I'm just gonna let go of the curl straight into my hand and let that cool straight down on my hand just shake it about now usually sometimes when I curl my hair I pin curl it if I'm gonna sleep in it I can pin curl it but to be honest when I curl my hair like this it just lasts anyway it doesn't need to be pinned so this does the job perfect for me especially when you're just curling your hair and you want to go out like that in there instead of having to sleep in it or leave it in all day and then I'll just let that curl drop down as well so that's what the two curls look like there so I'll just leave them sitting there and I'll move on to this side of my head so the same thing again I'm going to split the hair into two sections so I'll just throw that to the back make sure there's no knots so now I'm just going to use the curler this way and wrap it away from my face always because um, I don't want the curls coming into my face I feel like it looks nicer on me anyway away from my face it just kind of opens up my face a bit more instead of kind of closing in all the curls towards your face so depending on the thickness of the section I take as well you don't have to leave the curler on it too long so this piece is very thin so I'm going to release that now straight into my hand and let that cool down then for a couple of seconds you can just do a little dance or just it's so easy to do like if you're watching the telly or anything like you just fly show you don't even know what you're doing it's actually grand and then just gonna let go so that's what the curls are looking like so far and then i'm just gonna do this back section really quick So that is the curl sun on the first layer of my hair. So you can see there just there's a little bit that's too straight at the end there. So I'm just going to run over that before I move on. So I'm just going to do the end of it. I just left a little bit too much out. But like you can always go back with the curls so that was actually grand. So I might as well do it now while I notice it. so that is that section done first section done literally flew to that only took me two minutes and then i'm just going to use a little bit of hairspray this hairspray is unreal three year old pennies andrew foot slimes hairspray like i actually love his stuff so much it's so so good this is the bounce one stronghold hairspray works like a dream and it doesn't leave your hair sticky i absolutely hate hairspray that's too heavy and leaves your hair sticky so i love the spray on this hairspray as well it kind of like disperses out nicely it's a very fancy word but um it doesn't like not a lot comes out too heavy so it doesn't actually leave your hair sticky or anything i absolutely just i'm obsessed tree row like can you actually go wrong like with pennies so the next section then i'm going to take is about from here so just like right above my eyebrow nearly at the arch now i'm just going to drop that hair down and twist it up on top of my head again So as I said, I'm not too particular with sections, so this is grand. So you can see the straight bits straight away, like, so what I usually tend to do is grab any straight bits that I see, so like none of the bits that I've curled, and I'll just brush through them like that just to make sure there's no knots. There's not anyway, because I brushed it before I started. Now, I'm just going to fly through these sections really quick, curling away from the face, the exact same what I did before, split it into two sections, two curls each side, and that's really it. <laughs> I, 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 I,
So just for these side bits here, these bits of my hair I always find are very damaged from bleach and from the straightener. So I don't like to curl these bits really so I'll just grab the side bit and I'll just put like a little bend in it. Just so it will kind of blend in with my hair a bit better just so it's not kind of hanging there straight. So I'll just hold that on just for a couple of seconds and then I'll just let go. And the bends then just kind of blends in better than with my hair when it's curly. Now I'm going to keep going with the curls. <laughs> That is this section of my hair done now. So again, just gonna go in with my hair spray, spray that little bit onto my hair. Now, so I'm going to move on. This is the second last section that I have. So I like to do the top bit separate, like my rounds where my bangs are. And now I don't really have any bangs, but um, I like to take that bit separate. So I just brush that bit out with my fingers. So just all around the top of my hair. And then I'll just twist that and just pin that right at the top of my head. Now with this section I actually have a lot of hair so I'll probably do more than two curls on each side. But I'm going to fly through that really quickly and then I'll be back. <laughs> Now, so that is the left side of my head done now in all the curls. So, obviously they're going to look better when they're brushed out, but they look good now and all good to go. I don't think I've missed any parts. So I'm going to just do this side of my head. Now one thing I would recommend as well when you're using this. This doesn't come with a glove. Like a protective glove. And if you have another curl in mind. I recommend you use the glove with this. Because I literally broke my hand off it. About 10 times. When I use it. I don't know if that's just me being stupid or what. But um, I would recommend using the glove. But like. Um, I'm just a dope. And I forget about it all the time. So. I am just burning myself but it would be a very good idea to invest in one that would be so good another thing is this curler doesn't come with like a heat mat so um if you're gonna rest it down on something i'd recommend you invest and buy into like a heat mat because um it does tend to like fall over and stuff now i have a heat mat that came with like uh other straightener that i have and i bought one in pennies a while ago as well for like 250 just a rubber one Grand does the job perfect, and um, but I just recommend always having one of them. that is the two sides of my head fully curled now nearly nearly there this has taken me a total of about 10 minutes i wouldn't even say 10 minutes to be honest like literally fly to it for someone who can't even do hair like it's just so good like i really really recommend that curler it's just amazing
now so i'll just take down the top bit now and i'm just going to run over the middle slit because my hair is not always split in the middle so i just want to make sure that it's perfect and i'm just going to brush out the front bits and if there's any other bits in the back so as being the bleach blonde your hair is obviously going to be more damaged than the average person and because i use heat on it all the time my hair is going to be damaged too so the front bits of my hair are always quite broken and damaged like they're not too bad like you wouldn't even notice it really to be honest like they're a lot better than what they were we're improving it so i wouldn't use the curler too long on the front bits compared to what i was doing around my whole head so what i like to do again is the exact same i'll split this into two sections so i'll take the back bit first this bit is generally fine and curl that away from the face this bit is like so important to curl away from your face because um, it just won't be like on top of your face. Like I just feel like if you curl towards your face, your hair is sitting on your face all day. Like I just couldn't deal with that. So the exact same for these bits again. Curl away from the face, hold for about 10 to 15 seconds and then I'm going to let go. So this is a thick piece of hair. So I'm going to let it go now. Oh, it got caught there. Oh, but I'm just going to twist that back into the coral and then push it up just so it can kill down. Yeah, so I'm going to do the front bit of my hair now. This is the very damaged bit. It's not even too bad to be honest. So I have to stop being drama queen. Like it's just underneath here. See the baby hairs here and stuff. But listen, it's the sacrifices you have to make when you want to be blonde. So I just have to shut up my own. No, so make sure i'm gonna go right back on these pieces and like right towards the end of this hair it's so thin but sure look i just can't not be a blonde there's just no other hair color out there for me this is just me so we're gonna have to deal with it and it's not even too bad you don't even know what's the bit really to be honest with you so i don't mind it yeah I'm just going to drop that curl into my hand. Another tip is I always use heat protectors. Like when I come out of the shower I use um, loads of different sprays in my hair that all have heat protectors in them. And they seem to be doing a good job so far. So, so far so good. And I'm going to let that curl drop. Now that one is like a ringlet. But it's going to be brushed out. So don't panic. So I'm going to move on to this side now. And just fly through this bit. <laughs> that is my hair all curled and ready to go so i'm just gonna let that be cool down at the front and then i'm just going to finish off my hair so you just make sure that there's no pieces that you left out so this piece i left out here i'm just gonna run over really quick it's only a little skinny piece it's so easy just to leave a few pieces out but once you just don't have a look over your hair, I always spot them. And then, that's it. So, I'm going to spray my hair now with the rest of the hairspray. Just at the front bit, around the back, around this side. I love the smell of this hairspray too, it's not too strong. Now, so I'm going to leave the curls, make sure that they're all killed down and then I'm going to brush them out with a white suit comb. This one is probably from Penny's or something, I haven't a clue where I got it but very good. So I'm going to use this in my hair in a few minutes. Now so I've just went through my whole hair, made sure everything was curled, curled any little like stragglers that were left over or any ends that needed to be redone and let my hair kill down. So I gave it about 5 minutes just to kind of set into place and kill down. So I'm just going to use that comb now just to brush through the curls. So my hair is not even knotty or anything because I've already brushed it and everything. So I just like to brush them out. I love this bit because the curls always look so nice then after they're brushed. Now I'd like to have a little bit of volume in the front there as well. So this is the hair all brushed out. I'm literally obsessed with these curls. And once you brush it out like you can't even feel the hairspray in your hair. It's so nice. But 
I just love this effect it gives. I love this type of coral. So I am literally obsessed with this wand. It's literally 100 out of 10 for me. Life changer. Absolutely love it so much. And I like to kind of style my hair when I have this hairstyle, like maybe with a hairband, or you could clip it, you could put two clips in it, and um, you could kind of push it over to one side if you like, kind of like that with a bit of height in it. Um, but generally, if I'm just doing nothing, I'll just leave it all down. So love that. And just to finish everything off, I'm just going to use a bit of shine spray. This is the Schwarzkopf Professional Osis Plus Sparkler Shine Spray one light control and I'm just going to spray my whole head with this, this smells absolutely lovely it kind of smells like aftershave or something it reminds you of, I don't know what it is but it smells so nice and it leaves your hair looking so shiny and not greasy or anything and I always find this kind of helps the curls stay in a little bit longer as well so this is my hair fully complete now with all the products, brushed out curls and everything and I'm absolutely just obsessed with my hair like this I love this type of curl in everyone's hair. I used to be so jealous of people that could curl their hair and now I can curl my hair using that little curl wand for 14 euro, like actually so good. So I really, really rate this and definitely if you're looking for a curler, get this, like don't even spend your money on a more expensive one. I'd get this for us and see what you think. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below and I'll see you all again soon.